what I taught initially. That is the OAD. What is the need of that is OAD object oriented analysis and design? Especially, we have we have to create the high quality of software for our needs, for our user needs. That is the purpose of studying the OAD. High quality of software. We have to produce the high quality of software for our user needs. So here, yeah, that is the uh, analysis and design. Here yeah, we are no doubt that everybody familiar about in the analysis and design concept of software engineering. Analy what is analysis? Here, yeah, that is analysis. That is the identification of object. That is investigating a problem for the for the uh, or for the requirement. Investigating the investigating the problem for for problem and the requirement. Before start the project, we have to analyze what are the requirements are there, as the information and that requirement that means the we can say the raw material and the valid information that, that, like that. That is the analysis. Here design, here the, the design is what that is the how to implement my my ideas. That is we go for that as a design. That is a conceptual solution to fulfill the requirement. I collected the requirement. Based on the requirements and idea, I'm going to implement. So that is the thing. That is how to implement. That is we are discussing the design part. That is the analysis and design. Later on, we come to that is the uh, unified process. Unified process that, I, that, I, that initially we are having the four phases. We are discussed only the inception, elaboration, construction, and transition. Inception, that is the initial phase. Here the initial, here the inception. Well, what do you think? I, I, I told you in the pre previous class, we have, to, we have to collect the wrong, wrong material, wrong, wrong requirements, that is key requirements. That, that requirement is fulfilled for our needs or not. So before that, we have to identify what other risk factors are there. We have to, that is the feasibility. Before start the project, we have, to, we have to note down the, we have to collect the valuable information, that is the Requirement, the valuable requirement, then only we can do the project well. So it, that is the inception. In between, then we are not done. What are the uh, identity risk factors are that? Initially, I can see what is the business cost case for the project. We are the, we are the justification for the case for the project. That, that is the inception phase. Next, we come to the elaboration phase. Here, the instead of uh, uh, risk factor, we are to identify. Some more information also. Some more information that means what uh, that is the, uh, during the implementation. What are the tasks we have to achieve? We have to note down. That is the thing. In instead of uh, risk pattern, we have to note down some more factors also. Basically, three diagrams are draw using the elevation phase. That is a case diagram, conceptual diagram, and package diagram. We are, that, is a, is a, that is a small series time box iteration only. That, that is a thing. It's a, it, it's a partial implementation system. Next, we come to the construction phase. Here, the construction phase, that is the third phase, is the largest phase. The several iteration ought to be taken place then and there. Each and every iteration, then only we can generate the Good shape and good quality of the pro of the project. First, initially, I can I can, in the here in the first iteration, my pro my project work is to be reached that is a 50 to 60 percent satisfaction. Say in the second iteration, I reach 80 percent. Then we go for the third iteration, I reach that is a 95 percent of the project implementation. That is, I can fulfill the customer needs. I satisfy all the criteria and condition as per the user need. That is a concern. Several iteration has to be taken place. That is a it's a, it's a series of short and time box iteration. That is the transition phase. Now we are in the last phase, the transition. After finishing the project, I have I want to deliver the my software product to the customer. I want it, I have I have to load on all the test cases. Then only I can release my project. That is the transition phase. Totally inception, elaboration. Construction and transition phase, four phases are there in the unified process. Uh, laterally, we, lastly, we discuss that is UML. What is the UML? We are immediately at a millisecond, you can tell the answer. Unified modeling language. Unified modeling language. That's the answer.
standard language for specifying, visual, specifying, visualizing, constructing a document. Specifying, visualizing, constructing and document. It, it does not depend upon the uh, code, code. That is the thing. That is the main advantage. That is the, what are the features of UML? That is the what is the diagrammatic language only. That is the main key point. That is we have to de yeah, that is the uh, we have to develop in the object oriented software and development process. Yeah, that is why we go for the UML. We are developing the object oriented software and development process. It's a graphical representation to represent the design of software product. Graphical representation. Uh, it's, it's a language, yet it, it is not only simplify a notation for drawing diagram, but a complete diagram for capturing the knowledge. It's not only a language, it's, a, it's a, the notation used for drawing the information in a well-known language. It applies to modeling and system. That is what, the, the, it, uh, it involves, that means what, it involves understanding of the subject and capturing the idea. That is the future of UML. It's a main thing is what? It's a graphical representation to represent the design of the software project. So yeah, yeah, that is the thing. Uh, yeah, yeah, also the, we have to, yeah, the implementation, deployment diagram. These are the diagram we can similarly use. Now we come to the goals of the UML. Here yeah, the goals of the UML, what is the goal? Here, my goal doesn't bother about the complexity of the project, scenario of the project. So whatever the project, I have to do the I have to do the project well in the EML. Doesn't bother about the complexity, doesn't bother about the uh, richness like that. So here the what that is we can write the we can we can do the project well. Right, that means what? That is the extensibility and the specialization mechanism to, to extend the core concept. It is the independence of the programming line. That's not bother about the core. So, so here the, the the day by day our needs are to be. So, what that is the uh, here the especially that is the especially the components and tools are to be well designed in the OAD. So, that is the growth of the object oriented tool. Especially the tools and components are are available in the OAD. That is the, that is the, in the end, it shows the growth of the object oriented tool. Here I support the development concepts such as collaboration, framework, pattern and components. That is the goal of that is the OAD. What is the UML, Unified Modeling Language. Okay. Now what are the notations? Here the components, symbols are there in the UML. So here the this, while we go for even, 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 even whatever the flow chart, even the DBMS also we are studying the ER diagram. Initially, we had note down the what is symbol. This symbol is represent what? This component is reference what? So, based on the uh, meaning of the notation of that is the symbol, then only you can draw the diagram. The, that, that symbol related with that symbol to, through the means of lines, that is the dotted lines. Like that, dot line like that. That is that is here also the UML notation or the important elements in modeling. It should be efficient and appropriate design of the notation, the appropriate use of notation. Now the coming class, we have to see the diagram for all the nine nine diagrams in the for the UML. So different notations are there. Each and every notation that one notation related to another notation based on some relationship. Based on we have to see in the diagram, then only you can understand a lot. One notation is linked with another notation through means of the, some uh, relationship. One relationship you can see in the diagram. Again, the notation for representing aggregation is important keyword. Last class I told the aggregation. Simply we can note down that is delivery of information product to the knowledge profession. That is aggregation. Delivery of Information product to the knowledge profession. That is the aggregation. Here, the, here also we have to follow the inheritance and function hierarchy concept. Here the uh, one uh, one one element referred with another element. We are sending the message between the two elements. That is the message passing between the uh, uh, between the objects like that. 
that is the message passing representation one way communication or two way communication based on the synchronous and asynchronous message we support the constraint assignment that is a aggregation that is a uh, notation we have to see in the diagram one by one so in the uh, previous class we have discussed that is the fundamentals of uml what is uml what is the necessity of uml futures use it and notation now here in this class i am going to tell what is the types of uml so i, I told not to, totally how many types are there in the uml that is we can say nine types use case diagram flash diagram and then what object diagram component diagram deployment diagram activity diagram state chart diagram collaboration diagram sequence diagram totally nine diagrams are there you have to ask so what is the name each and every each and every diagram what are the features now we are going to tell what is the necessity for each and every diagram presented that is what is simply i can say so what you must is the model to complete description of system for a particular perspective view here for example here the based on the time limitation of the instance what they happen based on the that the order requirement i'm going to represent one project based on the order mal function next one is i'm going to represent one project for the real time application based on the needs based on the verification for that we can we can we can design nine types of uml diagram okay now here now i'm going to tell elaborate please don't down the valuable points in my ppt so during the ppt i will tell some key points and keywords along with some real time example dear students please note down it especially there are two if my main primary there are two classes of diagram one is the structural diagram and the behavior diagram here the run run time environment also that is running that is the compile time generation that is the compile time and run time you can say no here also you can say the structural diagram and the behavior diagram the structural diagram describe the static static part of the system the behavior diagram describes the dynamic part of the system it's very important thing structural diagram represent the static part of the system and behavior diagram is represent the dynamic part of the system as very general that is the primary the uml as two classes of diagram here the among here the behavior diagram two again two sub two types are there one is the interaction diagram next one is the state diagram one is the interaction diagram next one is the state diagram so at any don't forget at any point any time so that you take structure diagram behavior diagram static and dynamic and then the behavior interaction diagram and state diagram is there okay listen now we are going to discuss one by one here the structural diagram how many diagrams are there flash diagram object diagram component diagram deployment diagram flash diagram object diagram component diagram deployment diagram what are diagrams referring structural diagram structural uml this question the university especially here in the 18 years uh, subject curriculum 5 to uh, 6 to 7 times asked in the, the two marks question what are diagrams referring the structural uml flash diagram object diagram component diagram deployment diagram here the classes classes we can say class interface interface and collaboration relationship what is object object and relationship are the instance of prototypical classes so several object invoke the methods in the class then only we can build the evolution everybody knows component diagram the components and relationship to illustrate the implementation view of the system several components are drawn we are we are we are know on the identification of the relationship between the several components exists in the diagram that is we can show the flow of the process deployment diagram configuring of run time processing nodes and object that exists them that is at the instant what scenario we are to identify continuous representation is a is a motion at the particular instant what is the scenario we are known that is a deployment diagram the instance is to be differ from type to type but at the particular instant what is the 
in stand you have to go down now there is some other representation at the particular instance so that is the deployment diagram so totally how many diagrams are there flash diagram object diagram component diagram and deployment diagram okay now at last i am asking question students please note down the points key points hierarchy points on this structure so next one is what immediately we can say only the two type primary what is the thing structural uml next one the behavior uml here the behavior uml here the behavior uml that is use case diagram the use case actors and relationship used to organize the use cases here the here the interaction one next one is the state one interaction what the interaction that is a, a, here in the interaction there are two types are there one is a sequence diagram another one is a collaboration diagram sequence diagram next one is a collaboration diagram the sequence ordering of events that is that is what that is time ordering of message and object like like that is a sequence first this this even even e1 e2 e3 for example e1 e2 e3 e4 totally four events are there first e1 going to going to be represent followed by the e2 then and then followed by the e3 then only that is the proper sequence are there for, for example i am giving two work to the i am giving work to the students first you can do uh, some work in the excel on student i represent another student i represent go and collect the uh, finished work from the particular student so in this third uh, the third student i am going to give the uh, work to take the print out what is the thing first initially student one want to finish the work on time then only second student can able to collect the document from the particular student then only third student can can are able to take the print out that is a proper sequence that is a what that's the that's the ordering of messages well and good first and that is first task for going to take for the particular student want to finish the work on time then only other student able to collect the document that is for proper sequence of there here the collaboration diagram the sequence of message and the organization of object in the interaction phase that is all that should be the interaction intra then what for example uh, three set of uh, uh, the same example i take into uh, to take to take into account here the action one uh, method one method two method three method one doing the project method two going to collect the project method three take the print out three set of objects are there object one object two object three the object one want to assess the method one object two want to assess the method two the particular object one only want to assess the what to take the to do the project the particular object two then only what ask collect the project so that is the that is the, that is the ordering of the sequence of message and the organization of in the sequence of message has to be taken place with the organization of object that is the main point what i tell sequence of message has to be taken place with the organization of object that is the thing that is the main scenario now we come to the activity diagram activity diagram it shows the what are the workflow of activity that is over, over time focusing on the opera, operation pass among the object simply i can say uh, for example here uh, here in the one here in the 45 representation seven now i am taking class how many times allotted for me 45 minutes sir in the 45 minutes representation what are the activities i have to achieve over the particular time for first 5 minutes summary next 25 minutes delivery again at 10 minutes i'm going to i'm going to recollect that is that is the thing that the representation of activity within the particular that is that is the time that is that is the activity uh, start state chart diagram here the state chart diagram represent the life cycle of an object it changes from state to state Uh, that that is the thing. Here, for example, uh, here here, this is still again the same example only. So per day, totally how many classes are there? Four four classes. Eight thirty, nine thirty, ten thirty, eleven thirty. Now we have the total six subjects are there. We are studying four four. We are going to attend four subjects per day. Here what? Here the event is to be changed from hour to hour. For example, now the first hour allotted to me, O A D. Second hour maybe that's the TOC. 
So they were going to going to attend and go for mass class like that. So here the next level fourth uh, maybe going to attend the eighth class. So that means what the changes here the so here the uh, here the object changes from state to state. Especially I am the I am one I am one of the object. That's the that uh, that the whole TOC. But the visitor is one of the object going to another TOC. Here the, that particular object going to assess the one method. Is it said? I can give face dear student, I tell in a clear real time example. You can, you can understand the much more information from me, you can gain knowledge. So note down the important thing. But main time, note down the important key point. What do you think? What is that is important? Not only real time example, but main points what? Key points stand up. That is what? Yet it is here the event as changes from state to state triggered by the new thing. Event has to be changes from State to state triggered by the message. That is the state chart diagram. So here that is what it. here in the behavior two types of that. One is the interaction and state diagram. Here the interaction, sequence and collaboration diagram is that. Here in the state, activity and state chart diagram is that. So okay, okay, okay. So let's start. Okay, I will give the hierarchy picture. It is it is very helpful to you to clear idea. Let's class I tell. I I draw the hierarchy. On the flow of the diagram, line diagram. Now we have to discuss what is very very here yeah, the coming PPT onwards is very very important to you. Based on the line diagram only, we have to draw the pro. We have to draw the. You have to do the projects. What the link? Nine nine diagrams. I told no. Based on the nine diagrams only, we have to do for all the projects in this entire. Go in lab. So place down the points. This is very very important. That is a diagram. That is a human diagram. That is the syllabus curriculum for the entire syllabus up to especially at the fourth unit. Fifth unit only testing. Okay. Now what the first thing the base is that the class diagram. Very important. Based on the class diagram only. After doing the project, the code has to be generated. If the class diagram holds good, then only. Generation of code is well and good. Very very important diagram among the nine diagrams. That is the class diagram. That is the first thing. The so class diagram or the most popular human diagram used by the object oriented community. Especially if you are studying the OOPS concept. What is the, what is the class? It's the collection of methods and functions. Here also what? That is what is a is a kind of attribute and function. That is what in this case the object in a system and relationship. That, that object, the object going to access on going to activate the function in the class. Going to access the function in the class. Then only it will activate. The object going to going to access the function in the class. Then only the program will activate. Okay, if you can. So here the attribute that can be referred to function. Sir, excuse me. Yes, ma'am. Uh, sir, please increase your voice, sir. Some people no, saying no. your voice is low. Okay. Sir, one more thing. Uh, let's sure. have a small, uh, not break. I'll okay. put one link in chat, sir. They have to submit that Google form. A small quiz, okay. dear students. Uh, next. Okay. So I put that link in the chat. You click that link and submit the answers. Be fast. It's only for two minutes. Sir, we can have a quiz like this either in the beginning or in the middle or in the end of the session hereafter, sir. Okay, ma'am. Just a small quiz from the questions asked uh, from the topics taught yesterday and today. We want to check how far you are listening the class. Uh, then only we have to understand yes, because my Just concept time is... Time is now, now nine, nine, sir. By nine two, we can you can continue the session, sir. Students, again I repeat, I put the Google form link in the chat. Look at the chat and submit the answers first. Don't try to discuss the answers or anything. Whatever you know, just put it. Attend the quiz will pass. Then only uh, we have yes, to justify the my clarification 
might be might yes be of teaching is reachable or not your voice is clear only but for some people they are saying your voice is low oh. sir you please be near to the mic and you can speak sir yes ma'am now the quiz is only for 2 minutes only five questions are there it will be quite easy submit soon and we can resume the session So, as sir told try to take the running notes because you are going to see so many diagrams here after make a show a short note of all the diagrams from each class yeah, the ppt also is the well known key points keywords are um, here yes, in the sir. diagram diagram color i mentioned right yes, so uh, yes, yes we can stop the trend sir you can continue sir okay Here the, the the diagram that may be of blue or a green or a yellow, that's yes. a standard key points and words. It is helpful to you to represent the theory itself. Ah, yes, we sir. have to we have to draw the help of putting lines in the help of black pen or pencil, whatever or any oh, color pen. Okay, sir. Okay. Sir, uh, uh, okay, now we have completed. Yes, uh, here after time will be expired for the Google form. I won't consider the remaining students. Uh, submit soon and resume the class, sir. You please continue, sir. Okay, so here in the first diagram, that's the class diagram. So in the class diagram, so what is the most popular UML diagram? Here in the uh, that is the based on the class diagram only. The programming code, especially that we have of either C plus plus or Java, Java, that code is to be generated. So is uh, so you are familiar about the class that like you are studying the OOPs concept, class collection of data and method, especially the <laughs> attributes and function. Yeah, the single class de describes the specific aspect of the system. The collection of class diagram represents the entire generation, uh, in, entire system. The single class represents one representation, one specific task, one aspect, one task of system. The collectivity of all the aspect, that is, the collectivity of all the tasks, represents the one action. So, yeah, the several class diagrams are there. So, the class diagram, especially, that is the static view of the system. Especially, we can say the compiled time generation only. If, if here the class diagram are the only UML diagram which can be mapped directly with the object-oriented languages. I already told now what I told based on the class diagram only, especially the C plus plus or Java code only generated. Here what the class that is the thing. It's the only UML diagram which can be mapped directly to the OOPS language. That especially what does the C plus plus and Java. Now here in the class diagram, what is the thing? Simple first exam, first diagram we see in the PPT class, followed by the attribute, followed by the operation. We can say the method. So especially that is the that is the class. We have the name of the class first. We have to, we have to put in the this thing first box. Second box we have to put one not only one attribute. We can put so many attributes also. At the single time, here in the third box also, we here is the operation. So that is I can specify the list of operation. We can put many operation, but here in the attribute three category are there. So what what is category private, public, like the next thing is what private public one more category is what what is the thing? third category private public and what is the third category pa anybody knows. That's the thing. The three categories are there now. You are studying the OOPs concept. The protected. Put it in charge. Very good. Ah, product. Very good. Yes, very good. Very good. Immediately say that is five private, public, product. So we have to specify here also in the attribute method. Okay. Okay. That is the representation of the class. Top, middle, and bottom. Total three boxes are there. Now we come to the class diagram. Simple diagram. Here what the class diagram is what. Three classes are there. So, so many classes are so sorry. So many classes we can draw. 
the relation meanwhile we have to give the relationship between the one class to the another class here that is the relationship even the during the types of during the uh, during the types of classes so during the types of eml diagram i told no each and every component related with another component customer is one component order is one component i want to relate the one thing that is a describe especially class diagram describing the static view of the system especially the, yeah, the collaboration diagram uh, uh, among the elements of here yeah, the of the static view what is the, what is the uh, functionality performed by the system so here also for example here here in the simple example from the diagram you, you, you are immediately see here the customer for example i am going to order the product how many products i'm going to buy that may be of either one to any any number of projects that is the one to one to n relationship because i am a single person i am only going to buy but many customers are there in the shop that is different one to n relationship that is i have to note down one to n relationship so here i want to buy the product so here the, i want to buy the product that that here the two categories there one is the special order next one is the normal order here in the special order i'm going to order uh, buying the product to the online here the, i'm going to buy the product to the dad way okay so you come to the shop and then buy so there there are two types of that so here the here, here what are the initially customer what is the thing? first thing is what what is my name what is my uh, name what is the name and the contact number like that you have to give the information in the uh, article details next one is what i'm going to I am going to buy the product. That's the that is the thing. That's the functionality. Here in the order, what is the thing? What are the products I am going to buy? Any? What is the number of products? That is in the method. Here in the confirmation, uh, here I am going to pay the amount. I am going to I am going to pay the amount. That is the confirmation. Next thing is one. That is the delivery of the project to me. That is the ordering. So that is the order. So here in the order, special order. A normal order is that. Here, the special order is what? What are things we are going to do? For example, in the online, here I am going to pay the. Here I am not mentioned the PPD. You know, as I tell, here in the online, I am going to pay through the means of debit card or credit card to the online networking banking. That is that is the thing. Here, what are the functions we are to, we are going to represent? Here, that that is the my uh, my details account my account details details in the in my bank. Next one is the confirmation. That, that like like that like by we have to specify the oh, one class then the no, no, normal class here i am directly i'm going to buy the product so here through me through like the dad cash method or through that is the, the, the debit card the debit card method or i can give the check like that so three three methods are going to be enrolled in the normal order likewise we have to represent so here that that here uh here the one to n in order i am going to buy number numerous number of or uh, product that is one to n n product here i can specify here the ordering this one class order it can related with the sub order and normal order here the, what is the, here i can put that smaller triangle the, that is the, that show that the generalization class generalization class what is the, what is the ordering has to be maintained so that i can put that is the generalization the this one class Related with the another class through means of line followed by the triangle. That means what a person that is the generalization. That is what is the generalization ordering has to be maintained. That is the we can say that the generalization. So, so simple example. Next, I can give the next class. I can give I directly draw. Then only you can understand the clear clear scenario. So that is the thing that is the we are to we are seeing the uh, class diagram. So last, that is the object diagram is done. So we, after that, I'm going to conclude my sum summary. We are here the object diagram. We can say what that is the instance of the class. That is what the instance of this. For example, uh, here several uh, uh, several methods are there. Several objects are there. The particular object want to assess that method at the instance what they refer. That is the thing. That is the instance. We can say the instance of a class at a particular moment. At a particular, capture the instance of an object at a particular moment. That is the object diagram. What is especially you have to say what's the class and the object. 
what is the main the what is the different class diagram represent the abstract model kinds of class and the relationship that is very important the difference between the class diagram and the object diagram this question so many times asked in the university exam also what is the difference between the class diagram and your object diagram in uml it represent the abstract abstract model here the object model represent the uh, uh, represent instance at a particular moment that is we can say that's a good that is a good difference between the class diagram and the object diagram so here in the object diagram used for the making the prototype of a system reverse engineering modeling a complex data structure and that's understanding the system from practical perspective that is very major four points i mentioned making the prototype of a system reverse engineering modeling complex data structure understanding the system from practical perspective okay so now i'm going to tune the summary of the two day classes in in between that i'm going to ask that is a some question then only we can be able to recollect it's very important to you okay so here in the starting of the class i told that the total how many uml diagrams are there you have to say at a single time immediately we can say that the nine diagram the uml at a mini second we can tell what unify modeling language so what it's a it's a it's a diagram and representation that is the the, 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 the it's a model the model is a complete description of system from a particular perspective okay so there is nine types are then class just i took the class diagram object diagram slightly later on we are going to discuss the remaining seven diagram common deployment or activity so so on we are to discuss in this class next we that's what you are the primary what are the primary two classes of diagram very very important to you one is the structural diagram and behavior diagram structural diagram and the behavior diagram uh, here here the big here the static representation yes structural static yes, yes. structural that is static representation dynamic behavior that is a dynamic representation under behavior interaction diagram and state diagram is that that is hierarchy structural behavior under behavior what are other things interaction and state okay now down the point now we have to see the structural so here in the three here in here in the structural but i here i am not mentioned the structural sub, sub topic but here i next slide i mention class diagram object diagram component diagram deployment diagram no doubt so here that, that is what the other thing structural that is starting that is represent the starting diagram under structure how many diagrams are there class diagram object diagram component diagram and deployment diagram next time i'm going to ask question everybody have must answer please for next here next one is the behavior here the behavior i told what is what is the thing i can say interaction interaction and state diagram under interaction two types under state diagram is also two types there that's very important thing you know down under interaction how many types are there sequence diagram collaboration diagram under state diagram how many types are there two types activity diagram state chart diagram you understand the hierarchy flow totally then only next class i draw the hierarchy flow you can easily remember but anyway you have to understand oh, what is the thing so here the class diagram we have discussed object diagram we have discussed here the components diagram it shows the what the implementation view of the system deployment diagram shows the run time processing nodes that's only i tell that is the, the component diagram deployment diagram so is okay that is the layout that this slide that you are use case diagram you know, okay interaction diagram and state diagram under interaction how many types two types under state two types sequence diagram that means what i told now that is the ordering of message has to be maintained what is that here the ordering of message has to be maintained but we come to the collaboration here also ordering but what the sequence of object followed by the organization of object the sequence of method followed by the organization of object good example I told what i told that is taking the one print out one student going to give one work do the document in the pc second student is what going to collect the student from from that student third student is what going to take the print out so total what 
three activities are there followed by three three person the three activity are reference i i can refer three methods the three person i can refer three of them is it right you understand the, the sequence of message followed